What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are gonna be diving into Mix It Up here in just a second and we're gonna be dealing with two separate things in this video and that is timers and events. So let's get started. So as you open up Mix It Up, you're gonna log in as you normally do. You're gonna head up here to the hamburger icon, click on it and you're gonna see events and timers. So here's what these are. We're gonna start with events. Events are anything that is really gonna be happening in your stream. Currently, I have events set up for when I start streaming and when I stop streaming. So as you look here through Mix It Up, you can really see that you can actually make an event for almost anything that happens within your channel, whether it be host, raids, follows, whatever it may be. But I'm gonna teach you how to do two separate things here that I have found very, very helpful. We are gonna be setting up a Discord message for when you start stream and for when you stop stream. So you're gonna go over here. On yours, it will say add command if you haven't done this before. I'm gonna edit my command just so you can see what it is. And I'm gonna add a Discord command in this event. So I'm gonna click down here in the action button, go to Discord, find Discord, hit Discord, and then hit the plus button, which will bring you up to the Discord action. Once you're looking at this page, you're going to decide where your message that you're going live is going to go within your Discord channel. So mine goes into go live action. You can put yours wherever you want to. I suggest it's a separate channel so it doesn't get spammy, but you can then write a chat message out that will let people know, hey, I'm going live. This is where I'm gonna be. This is the game I'm gonna be playing, so on and so forth. Now, as you look at this page, you're gonna see some special identifiers that I have here hidden in my message. So the first thing you're gonna see is the dollar sign and then stream game. And then if you continue going out here, you're gonna see dollar sign URL. So what that's going to do in my message is after I type all this out and then I save it, it's going to tell people in my display message the game I'm playing. I will link the page that has all of these special characters on them so you guys know exactly what commands to use, what to do, all that information. But for right now, if you want to, you can go ahead and follow what I wrote down, just hey, at everybody, so everyone in Discord is tagged and know who you're talking to. I'm live on Twitch playing whatever game I'm playing, come hang out, and here's the stream URL. So that's that event set up pretty much in a nutshell. Now, to add the event of when your stream ends so people know when you're done streaming, it's the exact same thing. You click over here, hit add command, or I'm gonna show you, I'll edit my command. The Discord message once again, so you scroll in the action button, you find Discord right there, hit the plus button, which will bring up here. So I always like to thank everyone for coming to stream after I'm done streaming. So my message is gonna write to my general chat and it's pretty much something simple. Like, hey guys, thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate you all. I'll see you guys next time. Something very simple like that will suffice, but it is nice to let your viewers know that you're thankful that they were there. So the next thing that we're gonna look up here and mix it up is going to be timers. Now, for those of you who are curious, timers are just those commands that scroll through your chat over and over and over again throughout the time that you are streaming. So you're gonna go up to the hamburger icon, head down to timers, and this is very simply just adding a command that repeats itself. All right, so when creating your timer, you're gonna head down here to new command, click new command and I like to do chat messages. So I go up to my chat message, I'll hit the plus button and this will add a chat message to our command. Now, the name of this is just gonna be YouTube, all right? So we're gonna head to our chat message. We wanted to say, make sure to like and subscribe. So after that, all we have to do is hit the save button and boom, it's right here under YouTube, it's shown up in our timers. Now, here's something very, very important to note that is gonna be different than just a normal command. You see down here at the bottom by new command, it says interval in minutes and or minimum messages you want to be sent between the timers sent. Well, I have mine playing every 15 minutes. It'll have either the coffee command, the socials command, the sunglasses command, or in our case, the YouTube command to scroll into chat. Now, I can also make that every 100 messages, something shows up. So if, I, if 15 minutes passes and the 100 messages haven't come up yet, it will still play on the 15 minute mark for me. So after you decide what works for you, whether you want it to be every six minutes, you want to play something, whether it's every 20 minutes, whatever it is, all you have to do is set the interval here and all of your time rows will abide by that interval in minutes. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Mix It Up Made Easy. If you are new here, welcome. Feel free to like and subscribe. It does help the video out a ton and it does help the content flow freely. I've been Pastor Gaines. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comments. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.